Hello guys. In the previous session, we have learned how we can see the model. In this session, we will learn how we can use it for the further operation, such as a production. For this, I have copied the code from the session 24 to the new folder for this session. Here I am saving this model as a zip file, if it does not exist. To load the model, we need to use the context.model.load method and pass the model file. And we will get the schema from the out parameter. Let me create the production engine for the saved model. Here I am going to predict the salary for the 10 year of experience. And at the end, print the years of experience and salary. Update the program.cs file. Save all the files and run the project. When this project runs for the first time, it does not have a model file, so it will generate it. Here you can see that we got the production based on the model. Like the model saving, we can also use the stream for the loading the model. Comment out this for now. Create an instance of the i transformer. Let me create a file stream and open the stream for the same location. And in the load method, pass the uh, file stream and open the uh, schema. Here we are not going to use the uh, schema, so you can also use the uh, discard instead of creating a variable. Save the file and run the project. Here we got the similar production for it. We can also use the load model with the data loader. Comment out this for now. For this, we need to use the load with data loader method and pass the model's location. We will get the instance of the data loader in the out parameter. Save it and check this. We got the prediction. Let's see what we have learned in this session. To load existing model, we can either use the load or load with data loader method. We can load model from the file as well as the file stream. Models load method is similar to the model save method. Not that load with data loader will only work when you have saved the model with the data loader. See you in the next session.